Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is a Search Buzz Media Recap. Today is Friday, May 31st, and this is the search news we covered over the past week at the Search Roundtable at SCRoundtable.com. First up, I posted a poll. I want everybody to go there. It was posted on May 29th, asking you if you were affected at all by the Penguin 2.0 update. Uh, we currently have 930 plus responses. It would be great to get over 1,000 um, and hear from you guys. Uh, so were you affected by Penguin 2.0 or not? Let us know in the, uh, in the May 29th post in our poll. Talking about Penguin, um, this guy named Alex went ahead and I'm telling you, he emailed me, he emailed a bunch of people. Anyway, I didn't cover it, but basically he said that authorship led to a decrease in traffic to his website because maybe, he said, people were skipping over his image because of his stupid, ugly face, quoting him. And going to the number two result, resulting in a drop in traffic to his website. Um, I skipped it, it seemed ridiculous. And then I see a post by Matt Cutts in Hacker News commenting about this, saying, no, your site, you didn't start losing traffic because of your ugly face. You're losing traffic specifically because your site was hit by the Penguin update or the Penguin algorithm. Um, so it's back and forth on that. You can take a look at that. I posted about this morning on May 31st at seroundtable.com. Uh, Google's Matt Cutts also went ahead and did a video talking about avatorials or native, native advertising as it's called. Basically, you're paying someone to write an article on a specific topic. And when you're doing that, Matt Cutts from Google said, what is, you have to disclose it. You have to disclose that it's actually paid. And you have to disclose it not just to users as an advertisement label, but also to search engines if this article is actually linking to your website. Um, and obviously you should use a rel no follow. So that cuts what, what goes on record about this, talking about it. Obviously, there's a lot of convert, co controversy about what Matt Cuss says use the nofollow to attribute, uh, but he did say that. Um, Google's Matt Cuts also said something very interesting uh, a couple weeks ago, basically saying, when you use the disavow tool, you should use it very, very aggressively. You shouldn't just use it with a fine tooth comb, he says. You should use it Incredibly, you just block a whole domain name. Don't use it like blocking this specific URL or blocking that specific URL because you might miss stuff. He says, use it aggressively, block domain names, block any site that you don't want linking to you, but block the whole thing. Don't go about it with a fine tooth cloak, he said. Um, a topic of Webmaster World brought up an older video about a month and a half ago, Matt Cutts posted a video about will multiple internal links, internal linking with the same anchor text hurt your website. And Matt Cutts pretty much said no, it won't, unless you really, really abuse it with tens of thousands of links that look crazy with lots of footer spam and stuff like that. And the Webmaster World thread saying, you know, I don't know if I believe this anymore because with the Penguin update, I don't think I believe it anymore. I'm not sure if the two are related. I think they're completely irrelated. I think Google looks at keyword stuffing, they look at internal link stuffing and stuff like that, but I think Penguin specifically has nothing to do with this. But anyway, it's a good topic to bring up again if you want to look, learn about what Matt Cuss feels about internal linking and abusing, uh, abusing all, uh, sorry, abusing anchor text, exact match anchor text. You can take a look at that. Uh, basically, it says most websites do not have to worry about it. Uh, Google's John Mueller went ahead and shared some more insight about content removal using in Google specifically. And he made some, some points. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about two points, but there's definitely a lot of other points in here where you can look at it on May 29th at seroundtable.com. What it is, he says that um, using a status code of 404 as opposed to uh, 404 versus 410, they're both saying page not found, but 410 is more permanent. Uh, Google, he said basically that typically when you serve a 410 as opposed to a 404, Google does not have to recall to verify that. So I guess if you do serve, if you want the page removed faster, you can use the 410. It'll probably get removed faster than using a 404. Maybe, maybe not, not exactly sure. The second thing is that Google said using the URL removal tool does not remove the URLs from the index. It removes it from the Google search results. An important topic. There's a lot of other things in here that you probably want to read if you are a webmaster, so definitely check that out. Um, we have a post about how do you uncover your spammy links, what tools could you use. The thing is, um, use as many different tools as you can, build a master list of all the links to your website, and you have to go through them manually. Um, so if you are using the disavow tool, go through every single link manually, obviously disavow whole domains like Matt Cunt said, but you gotta find out where these sites are linking to you, stuff like that. Big, 
uh, News, Big News specifically added a carousel, Google, similar to the Google Dollar Graph carousel. Uh, plus, now they're also showing older results. So, I'll show a screenshot of basically on the top for certain people at interest. Uh, specifically people, uh, you'll see a news carousel with other topics for that person. On the right hand side the rail, you'll see other people's names and stuff like that. And if you search for specific topics that are actually older, uh, Big will actually go back further details. Google AdSense has updated their ad center, ad review center. They did three changes. The one is they added an impression progress bar to the, to the results, to the page. They added ad previews, landing pages, and quicker blocking access. And finally, they also added the ability to block visually similar ads by uploading a screenshot using Google's image search technology. Pretty cool. Google AdWords um, is testing a new pinkish color, a pale pink color. Uh, we posted the screenshots comparing the yellow to the pink, uh, May 28th. Uh, Google AdWords added a new feature to bulk upload your ads and ad groups, not just your keywords, now your ads and ad groups, which is a nice set time setting feature. Google AdWords weekly reports are no longer specific to Mondays, now they actually let you do it any day of the week. So if you schedule a weekly report and you have a meeting every Thursday, you can say I want this report to be sent to me Wednesday or Thursday, as opposed to sending it on Monday. Google had a Memorial Day logo, actually they did. Google had a ribbon on their own page, which caused a lot of controversy, whereas Big had a nice Memorial Day theme, as so did Ask.com and some other sites. Uh, today is Julius Petri, uh, Petri just, uh, basically uh, he invented, he was a German uh, bacteriologist, yeah, bacteriologist, who came up with the idea for the dish that you put bacteria in to actually uh, do analysis on that. Um, and Google's remembered him on his 160th birthday with a worldwide Google logo, it's animated, it's, I don't know, it's pretty nasty looking, but I guess it makes the Google logo, it's bacteria, at least to me it is. Um, but whatever. Um, and finally, that's today. You can check it out on Google.com. And, and finally, Google's YouTube has a new slow motion feature for uploading videos, making it slow motion, which might make these videos easier for you to hear because I'm constantly speaking in New York, uh, and I guess at New York uh, speed. Uh, and I apologize for that. I know people can't hear me all the time, and/or they I talk too fast. Uh, so I apologize. In any event, uh, I'll try to do better without using the YouTube slow motion feature. Thanks so much for listening to the Search Buzz Review Recap. That is the news we covered over at the Search the Roundtable at seroundtable.com over the past week. And for more details, check out seroundtable.com. Everyone have a great weekend. And see you guys next. Bye.